Hey guys and gals, it's Trevor again. So a little while back, Chris, a viewer of the channel, contacted me and told me he'd like to send me a batch of retro termagants to paint. Now, I was really, really touched that anyone would want to do this because this would mean Chris would have to ship the termagants from Connecticut all the way to me in Singapore. But that beautiful, crazy guy actually did it. And in no time at all, I was looking at 10 lovely retro termagants. And Chris even included a nice little note. No, Chris. You're beautiful. So if I'm not wrong, these are second edition termagants. And these lovely cute guys come all the way from the 1990s. I'm sure you can understand why I'm excited to paint these. So the first thing I did was to clean off all the mold lines and drill out all the gun barrels. Then I got some super glue and put some air dry clay on their bases. I used a clay shaping tool to add some texture to the clay. And once the clay was dry, I was ready to start painting. So first of all, I primed them using the cinnamon Citadel Wraithbone Spray, and then I used some blue tack to attach them to the top of these paint pots to make them a little easier to hold while I was painting them. So first of all, I used a dark green to pick out all the bits of the carapace. Then I grabbed a black paint and used it to paint the tip of the tail, the claws, and the hooves black. After that, I got a pink paint and used it to pick out all the fleshy details poking out from the skin. Then I got some Screaming Skull and used it to paint the teeth of the models. I got a bright yellow paint and used it to carefully paint the eyes of all the termagants. After that, I used a dark red to dry brush all the black parts of the model. And then I used some Wraith Bone to clean up all the mistakes I made on the skin. And let's not forget, we have to paint the base brown as well. Now, a lot of retro models had their base painted in this really bright goblin green, but I kind of wanted the bases of these guys to match the rest of my Tyranid army. Alright, so for the washers, I applied some Seraphim Sepia to all the areas of the skin and the fleshy bits. I also applied some Nalna oil to all the parts of the carapace and the base. Once the washers were dry, I got the original Wraithbone color and used it to highlight all the most raised parts of the skin. Then I got the bright yellow paint again and used it to carefully highlight the eyes. I grabbed the screen Screaming Skull again and used it to highlight the teeth. Then I got this bright red and used it to highlight the tip of the tail, the claws, and the hooves. All the parts of the model where we dry brushed red. After that, I got this really light pink paint and used it to highlight all the fleshy parts of the models. Now this resulted in the fleshy parts of the model looking extremely bright, which is not exactly what I was originally going for, but I'm gonna run with it. Alright, after that I got this bright green paint and used it to highlight the center of each carapace plate. While doing this, I was trying to avoid the most recessed parts of the carapace as well as the highest parts of the carapace. After that, I used some Nurgling Green to highlight the highest parts and raised edges of the carapace. Then I just got a little bit of red wash and applied it to all the teeth of the models. And finally, I grabbed this ochre paint and dry brushed it onto the base of the models. I lined all the bases with black and then of course it was time to name the termagants. Since since these were gifted to me by Chris, I decided to name all of them after him. So we have Chris, 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 and Chris. Now I'm not 100% sure that I've done justice to these vintage models with my mediocre paint job, but nonetheless I had a ton of fun painting them and I'm super excited to use them in future games. I'd just like to say a huge huge thank you to Chris for sending me these models, it really means a lot to me. Do check out Chris's Instagram if you have time at Crispy Lawler. He is a super nice, awesome guy. And also, do check out my Patreon if you feel like it. Alright, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.